Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. There is a tournament ongoing. The players who win um, the most games, good luck. The 100 players who win the most games are eligible to use uh, an avatar uh, with the image of Daisuke Katagami 7 Don on it. Now, um, uh, let me not split my thoughts. Let me get one thing done at a time here. But there are things to say, and they are exciting. So, you will note that you might call that Daisuke Katagami is the author of the book that I have repeatedly mentioned, perhaps not often enough, uh, which pieces do you need to check me? So, um, he, I said his name, I meant to say Katagami Seven Don, or some sort of honorific with it. Seven Don is one of the highest titles. There are higher titles, but it is a very high title. I believe he was also former JSA chairman. Um, so uh, people have feelings about that, and that's fine. People are welcome to have feelings. Um, please don't slander anyone, etc. Um, right, I'm going to attack toward the king here. Um, Sorry, I'm a bit distracted. But yeah, I'm very excited to see his avatar be available to players. Uh, I believe he's also uh, a teacher, mentor, etc. for uh, Shogi Harbor. Okay, so if I take this knight, they take my knight. I take this pawn, they drop a lance. Um, I cannot take the lance with impunity. I move the knight, they could move a knight. This is confusing. Alright, I'm going to continue approaching their king. I don't think I could have blundered yet anyway. Um, Nanafun. All right, this aiming toward the king seems like the obvious target here. This is an obvious reply. And so I'm going to use this to help defend my king. Right, they can continue targeting my rook. That's fine. The king is ultimately what matters in this game. Um,
All right. I think this position is acceptable. So now I have a bishop in hand. But yeah, I believe this which pieces need to checkmate is a very approachable treatise. Um, delightfully so. That helps the rest of the world understand um, some of the very basic elements related to uh, checkmate. And checkmate is one of the more important uh, concepts in this game. Of course, by speaking about this, I run the risk of jinxing uh, myself here. Gofun. All right, let's remove my horse from this corner. The point is I have a lance drop if they do take this, so at the moment this cannot be captured. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, that would be check. Um, it's a bit spooky. All right. Well, I might have jinxed myself here. Don't move up here. That would be mate in one. Um. All right, we'll just run away with my tail tucked between my legs. Wouldn't be the first time I've had to run. All right, so I protect the square. Now this knight potentially could... Okay, so... Oh, right. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Well spotted. Hmm. I'm a little disappointed in myself for having missed that. Perhaps I should be more disappointed. Yeah, they're doing a very nice attack. And these... yeah, okay. I think at some point this attack does fall apart for lack of support. Um, it takes more support than one would expect to actually checkmate a king. I could be mistaken. This move is forced. This move is reasonable. I could run. Let's try to escape this knight. They'll drop a silver to pursue. I can continue running. And we'll run like there's no tomorrow. All 
All right. That's clever. If I do take this, actually, I can. Um. Sampun. All right, let's remove the attacker. They would like to drop another pawn to continue this attack. It takes a turn to drop that pawn. What are they going to do in a turn? What am I going to do in a turn? Not much. They'll, they're going to do more in one turn than I am. I'm going to be a bit disappointed. Hmm. But I can force them to spend multiple turns setting up this attack. Actually, well, no. My time is quite limited here. My horse in the corner is very much not in the right place here. Defend the king with three generals. Now, that's also said that a horse is as strong as three generals, but it's not anywhere next to my king here. Uh, if the rook retreats, I drop a pawn here. The rook comes back and takes it. And then my horse can move to hit the rook. And then I can drop another pawn, and hopefully that quells the attack. They could take my knight. And I don't know what happens after that. I mean, potentially I drop a rook here to hit uh, their rook. Or potentially just retreat my horse and drop a pawn and... I don't know. My attack is extremely slow, but I have many, many pieces, so it's going to be a heavy attack whenever it's my turn. They could also take the knight. In my estimation, I didn't think that did anything, but I've been wrong multiple times before this game. I could be wrong again. They could also try moving the knight here, just to intimidate me and I would be very intimidated. That's a reasonable move. They could also consider Rook takes Knight which I completely missed. I think I survived that. Yeah. I could also try to surround my horse in the corner. Nope. All right. Um... That makes a lot of sense, this move. All right, I'm feeling bold. Let's try this. A more sensible move would be running the king. Although it's not clear that that would help here. Um,
2分。All right, they quiet my attack. Now they have a lance and a knight to attack with. Now they have a lance and a pawn, and that's it. There are still things they can do. These things are still scary. Maybe I should have gone to the corner instead of this. I need to play faster, but also I, this position is dangerous, and I need to not underestimate anything. I need to play quickly and carefully. That might be challenging. This gold over was probably the safer move here. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, my idea hangs a rook here for no reason. Let's not do that. Okay, this is a safer way to approach the knight. Ippun. Oh my gosh. Um. Brilliant. Well played. You've earned it. I should have focused more instead of narrating. Thanks for the game. Good luck. I know not just exactly how dangerous this is, but I did open with something aggressive. My opponent has not spent any time castling, so I'm assuming this is a risky position.
I don't think this is normal. Okay. As long as they don't get my knight, my king is at least as safe here as where it currently stands. Um, that's interesting. Hmm. Oh, I have a pawn. I have ways to make this interesting, too. Okay, you can have this pawn back. Nanafun. There are tactics in this position, and I'm concerned, but. I can't allow that concern to spread to paranoia. So we're going to try things and see how this plays out. I've staked this point. Um, I think I control this point. But also this might allow me to push me one square further. All right. So they defend against my bishop drop shenanigans on this side of the board. Um, but I might have not wanted to drop a bishop in the first place. Or even if I do that, well... All right, so a knight is regarded as not having the same value as a silver general. So this defends against both threats. Now they entomb their bishop. Um, Alright, so I threaten to push past as they are pushing past here. Um, do I take this? If I do, my position backfires in a tremendous hurry. Hmm. 
5分This looks interesting. <laughs> And risky. Okay. All right, I'm curious. I can't hold my curiosity indefinitely. Um, if they try to chase my bishop, it can move to five five and then hit this. So yes, I'm down a few minutes on the clock, but my position is fantastic. Um, all right, so I'm losing a silver, but not a, losing a silver and a knight at the same time. Um, arguably, well, okay. I didn't see that. Maybe I should have retreated instead of this move? I don't know. This is the position that excited me so much. Oh, they have another silver in hand. I completely missed that. So they could take this and drop their other silver. And that would be a patient way to approach this position. Two minutes thirty seconds. I'm spooked. I should be attacking, I should be defending. I, Since all this should be happening at once, I don't really know what I should be doing. Um, let's take one of these. Hmm, this allows them to drop right next to my king. Or rather, right next to my castle. Um. Um. 
2分Somehow that might help defend. It's definitely attacking. I don't know whether I should have just thrown it right there, which would have looked awesome, but might not have been safe. うーん。30秒。20秒。Shit. Promoting that was not right. Oh god. Well, I fucked this. Um, yeah, that sucks. I'm seeing all the correct defensive moves after I play. And it would help to be one step ahead of that, wouldn't it? Thanks for the game. Yeah. I need to budget my time. Well played. Which pieces do you need to make is an important question. But also, if you sit there thinking indefinitely, that's not going to help. Good luck. So yeah, uh, the avatar that is the prize this month is for Daisuke Katagami. Whoever wins the most games, the top 100 players will get that avatar. 
obviously in my O and 2 streak, I seem profoundly unlikely to get this, but, you know, we'll still mention the avatar that, you know, maybe you can earn it. I might already be out of the running, but some of you might have a chance. Now, granted, uh, people who don't have a cap of three games per day might have a better chance than people who do have a cap. Um, it's just how it goes. Uh, and that cap is entirely self-imposed. You could choose to pay to remove it. Um, Alright, so I defend my king. They play this common shape. And now they're going to choose which pawns to move. It's not an uncommon pawn move. Um, I'm going to fight back against it. Alright, so... There is a saying that in the bishop exchange opening, do not push the center pawn. And it looks unlikely that I'll be able to induce a center pawn advance for my opponent. Um, is there... It's natural to approach this square, sure. Um, I guess we'll approach it as well. Because this knight can't, but mine can, this might confer some kind of advantage somehow. I don't know. Or maybe I should have just let them push this and let exchanges occur. That is a retreat. A retreat loses two moves. Um, Alright, we'll take some more space. All right, the knight's head is vulnerable now that this uh, knight is exposed. So, yeah, a retreat spends two moves, rather. It doesn't always lose two moves. Um, all right, I'm feeling violent. Let's do it. Let's get the show on the road here. Hmm. All right, here advances my rook. If they take my pawn, I could consider dropping a bishop. Uh, I guess my rook's a target for this knight. But if they bring out their knight, then we both have the same problem of having a knight exposed. Although mine gets hit first. I don't know. This file is temporarily plugged. Uh, we do see my opponent prefers an active four file rook strategy and is successful with it. I think that's the app, uh, the status thing that flashed on the screen um, right at the beginning of this game. So, um, yeah, we should expect them to be experienced at this sort of system or knowledgeable or something. Um, yeah, and so I thought about this. Um, yeah, I think this is the safest way I can retreat here. So I've, well, they actually have not lost a pawn, they've just given the pawn back. 
Um, but my position is not great or is tenuous or whatever. Um, Nanafun. All right. <laughs> this is some kind of. Oh, wow. Interesting. Not sure what that does. Oh, that prevents my bishop from taking the square immediately. Which was my next idea if the silver moves up. The silver is not advanced, so. All right, I'm going to keep this castle under siege by my pawn. If this silver chases the pawn, we can chase this. So it's... I'm at least doing something. I found a good move, maybe. It only took me five minutes to get my first excellent or interesting move of the game in here. Um, but it looks quite interesting. I'm not sure how they defend against this pawn promotion threat. Yes, they're threatening to advance this pawn in front of the rook here. Yes, this is hanging... There's a ton of places their bishop might drop, but at least for this instant, nothing seems to be on fire just yet. Yeah, having the bishops in hand makes this game so much more complicated. Let's have some water. I guess their bishop could try to prevent this from promoting, but then I can drop bishop here and we can exchange bishops and I take this. Also, if they drop the bishop here, I could drop my bishop on this diagonal and chop this next. I could even drop it as far as up as this, but why? Um, well, up here it would be attacking this gold, but it could be prone to like, well, they can't drop a pawn yet. Alright, yeah, this is another way to deal with my threat. Just simply allow it and contend that it's not such a big threat. Of course, I'll have to contend that it's like an extremely important threat now. Um, interesting. Gofun. There's... Hmm. 
I don't want to help the silver advance. All right. My immediate, well, oh, well, okay. Didn't expect that. I think this deals with most of their immediate threats, so I can just focus on my threats next. Yeah. All I wanted was just a dragon, right? But now... Oh. Well, that's interesting. That is resourceful, sir. Well spotted. Sampun. This shields my dragon, so I don't hang it to another tactic here. But also this pawn can promote later. Hopefully not too much later. But yeah, I saw, like, regardless of what I do, if I approach with this token and try to win the dragon or rook, they can drop a bishop on this diagonal, and I don't have any way to protect the diagonal other than this. So this is how I protect this diagonal. I use what I've got. It's so crude. But effective, right? Um... 2 hours 30 minutes. Impressive. Nifun. All right, fine. You can keep your silly little rook. See if I care. How much do you want that rook? Not enough to sacrifice your entire army.
1分30秒 As promised, it promotes. There we go. Oh, I can't drop it over here. Ni Jubio. Ten seconds. Thanks for the game. That was intense. Uh, I think we both made mistakes. Oh boy, that was so intense, and I wish them uh, the best as they climb up toward two Q and one Q and so forth. I really believe they can work it out.
I believe I can learn some things too. Hope you've enjoyed these games. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.